Hello everybody. So while I'm doing my other cast iron pan, I may as well start working on this one. This one. You see it and it, you think, ooh, that's a rust pot. It's actually a wok. Um, my mom found this while they were clearing out a place that they purchased and this was down in the basement, I guess. And she seen it and went, Tina. <laughs> I was about to say what she calls me and it's like, nope, okay. But um, anyway, someone was asking me what it is. I have no idea, it's just a walk. I can't see any markings on it whatsoever because it's really, really rusted. You can see. Now, I'm not terribly worried about this because I can take a look at it. Now what I'm saying, I'm gonna go in explaining this. Now by looking at this, I can see there's no heat damage done to it whatsoever anywhere. There is no cracks on it, there are no bubbles, there are no hairline fractures, there's no nothing, not even in the inside. The inside is nice and smooth, there is no shiny reflections that I can see, there's no bumps, no rivets, no nothing. Now when I say that, um, when you're finding cast iron like this, you have to be very careful because sometimes they were used to melt lead in and once lead has touched these they are thrown away like not thrown away you actually have to contact they have to be destroyed properly so people won't find them and use them and give themselves lead poisoning now normally it's um like a, a skillet that has a handle on it anything that has handles on them were typically used um the spoons never ever find an old spoon and restore it to use it. Do not. It most likely was used for um, melting lead. Um, and corn corn pans were used a lot as well because they're nice the triangles and they were used a lot as well. Muffin pans were used. Um, so please, and if you're not sure how to check. And honestly, this still could have been used for lead, but I don't believe it was, because seriously, how would they have used, this would have been very awkward for them to use. But um, there are kits that you can buy at your local hardware stores for lead testing. You just get it and you put it through the pan and it will let you know if, there, if lead has been in contact with this or not. So please, if you are going to get cast iron like this, do your homework on it, do your research, make sure you know what you're looking for and that you're not gonna give yourself lead poisoning because we really don't want that now, do we? <laughs> if I had a kit here, I would show you, but honestly, I'm not seeing anything. And if I go through and I notice something, I won't even use it. So let's see how far we get with this. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it over the sink and give it a really good wash, like a really good wash, because this thing really stinks. So I'll bring you guys back in just a few moments. Okay, so I have this soaking in some nice hot soapy water with a cup of vinegar in it. The vinegar is just going to help me break up the rust that is on it. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe here. put my plug back in the sink okay you guys can see that there's no pitting damage to this there is no damage whatsoever to this pan which is beautiful and again I got my handy steel wool and we're just gonna go around it until we get it all nicely cleaned up this will take a little bit I'm not gonna make you guys sit here and watch this because this really will, ooh, I just got water in my glove. Um, this will take a little bit. So I'm gonna do my best just to get it, oh, it's hot water too. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my best just to get it cleaned up this way because by the looks of it, there's no seasoning I need to remove or anything like that. I'm just trying to get it cleaned up again, really. Okay, so I will bring you guys back in a little bit. Okay, so now I have it all cleaned up. 
I have all of the outside rust removed off of it. You can see it's a completely another color now. It's still a color of rust, yes, but it's more of a, uh, I want to say, ready brown kind of color than what it was before. Now, I did end up by taking sandpaper to it just to get it off and soaking it for whew, quite a bit. So now I'm going to put it in the oven and let it fully dry out and then I'll show you the next step. Alright, so I've just pulled it out of the oven. It's been in there for half an hour so I know this is nice and dry and I am not going to touch this with my bare hands because I can feel the heat coming off of it. Now what you want to do, just like if you're now you're more or less just seasoning it. It's going to take quite a bit more to season one like this. Oh gosh, darn it, this is hot. Okay. Because you are dealing with cast iron that has not seen love in goodness gracious knows how long. So it's going to require some love. Very hot. Okay. Now normally when I'm restoring like these, I do put a fair little bit of oil on them to start with. Just so that way it has a good amount in the pan to get it going. Now you want to make sure you get everywhere, every nook and cranny the handles, the sides, you want to make sure you get it very well seasoned. So that, you can already see, look how beautiful that is. And it's not even actually seasoned yet. Okay. Now it's a bit tricky because you got to make sure that you get everywhere and that you don't burn yourself because it's really hot. And then we're going to put this back in the oven for about an hour to let this do its business thing on it. Gets all nice and seasoned in there. And then we will pull it out and we will go through this ugh, all over again. So I'll bring you guys back when this is fully done. And here we go. Here is the wok fresh out of the oven all nicely done and seasoned up you can see look at that shine how beautiful is that yes I'm still wearing my gloves this is hot so you can see the back of it is all gorgeous again no rust yep nope no rust that's just from my pan or my grates in my oven but there we go it is super easy to get cast iron and just to bring it back to what it should be. It doesn't need to take much work. It really, it doesn't. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you again really soon. Bye.